in the name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad peace be upon him narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarin Sud. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make the channel a grand success. We are a family, a partner. Please share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert a challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large. Thank you very much for your precious time. Today I am going to discuss my lecture number 22 on center of excellence, cell study guideline, section number 6. Okay, before my lecture, I used to read a Quranic verse. Kala Rabbi Shrahali Sadri wa Yassarli Amri wa Halalu Okdatum Melisani Yaf Kahu Kauli Allahumma Rabbi Sadini Ilma. Oh my Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me and lose a knot from my tongue that they may understand a my saying. Allahumma Rabbi Sadini Ilma, O oh Allah, advance me in my knowledge and true understanding. Okay, Center of Excellence, Lecture number 22, Cell Study Guideline, Section number 6. Okay. The purpose of Center of Excellence, as we have discussed uh, uh, in my earlier lectures, so the first, the pillar, where we are, where we want to be, and what to do, and how to do. These are the four pillars in order to achieve center of excellent objectives and goals. Okay, we are, we have already discussed the first here, the hazards and operability study management system. And we have also discussed hazard identifications and we are still studying SIL, Safety Integrity Level Management System, section number three. Later on, we will discuss quantitative risk assessment and so on. Okay, key takeaway points from lecture number 22, Center of Excellent, the SIL study guidelines. Section number six. First, we will discuss LUPA methods, methodology. Then we will discuss independent protection layers and criteria of independent protection layers. Okay, forward message we have discussed in my earlier lecture. Okay, first cell study with LUPA method. What is basically a demonstrate over here? Okay, the LUPA is a semi quantitative a technique used for evaluating the risk of hazard scenarios and comparing it against a risk tolerance criteria to decide if existing safeguards are adequate in preventing or mitigating the scenarios and additional safeguards are needed. A risk tolerance criterion is expressed in terms of tolerable frequencies for each consequence resulting from an impact event and decided by based on any oil and gas company corporate or philosophy. Okay, next we will give more lights on LUPA methodology. Okay, what is LUPA methodology? LUPA helps the user to determine the risk associated with the various hazards events by utilizing their severity and the likelihood of the events are being initiated. The risk reductions measures employed by the industry concern such as a process design are estimated and credit is given for such measures while estimating the severity and likelihood. The industry can set their corporate risk standard or follow the risk acceptability levels specified by the local government. If the risk levels are not within the acceptable limits, additional risk reduction measures by means of basic process control system that is also known 
BPCS alarms with the human intervention, safety instrumented function, SIF, mitigative barriers like the guys, the pressure living devices, etc. can be employed. Okay, the analytical loop method consists of a number of steps that is establishing our consequences criteria, identification of the accident scenarios and their frequencies of occurrences, identification of IPL and dependent protection layers, estimation of risk and review of existing risk control measures based on the acceptance criteria. Okay, from next slide, we will give more on what is the independent protection layers, IPL. Okay, independent protection layer. IPL for safety function is an independent mechanism that reduces a risk by control prevention or mitigation plan. It should be a process engineering design mechanism such as higher vessels or a pipe rating or a mechanical engineering mechanism such as a relief well. The production layers shall be carefully established during the sale workshop and selection of IPL shall be based on criteria specified. Number one, for criteria for independent production layers. Number two, the, the area or the, 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 the layer to be considered and the layers not to be considered. So we will discuss a later stage. Okay. On my next slide, we will discuss the section number one, criteria for independent production layer. Okay, criteria for independent protection layers. IPL can be active or passive system or action that is capable of preventing uh, scenarios of from proceeding to its undesired consequences independent of the initiating events or the action of any layer of protection associated with the scenario. All IPL must meet different criteria which we are going to discuss to claim a risk reduction factor during LUPA analysis. Okay. Okay. Specify. The first, the specified IPL must be capable of detecting and preventing or mitigating the consequences of specific hazards events. Number two, independent. Okay. An IPL must be independent of all the other protection layers associated with the identified potentially hazards event. No common equipment can be shared with the other protection layers. The performance shall not be affected by the failure of another protection layer or by the conditions that caused an other protection layer to fail. Most importantly, the protection layer is independent of the initiating causes. Okay, number two, dependent. Okay, an IPL must be dependent in doing what it was designed to do in terms of reducing the identified risk by non-specific amount. Generally, the IPL which has more than 10% PFD is not considered to be dependent. Able. Okay, number last year, auditable. So, an IPL must be auditable with a regular or periodical validations of protective function that is it must be designed to facilitate periodic proof testing and maintenance to ensure that specified risk reduction is being achieved. Okay, from the next slide we are going to discuss what is commonly considered independent protection layers that is IPL. Okay, the independent protection layers. So, the independent protection layers Safeguard are commonly used in the process industries as independent layer of protection and should be considered for each sale selection criteria. The first is the basic of process control over here. The basic process control system. The second alarms with operator in interventions. The then mechanical integrity, local devices, and uh, the extended risk reduction facilities, then uh, the probability of ignitions and occupancy factors. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers are commonly selected. Okay, for my next slide, the IPL not to be considered. So we are excluding following here the training, certifications, procedures, 
these all are the we did not include our IPL studies that is independent of protection layers. So training, certification procedure, normal testing and inspections, maintenance, communication, signboards record that is informed is available and understood. Okay. So now we will conclude today lectures. What we discussed today, LUPA methods, independent protection layers, criteria independent protection layers, and consider layers and not to be considered in the IPL. Okay. On my next lecture, we are going to discuss uh, LUPA process and analysis steps. Okay. Okay. References here. The first Qatar Petroleum Doha Qatar, where I worked 24 years, Oil and Gas Development Corporation, where I worked for three years. Then uh, World Energy Outlook 2013, U.S. Geological Survey, U.S. Department of Energy, Shalom Burgers, International Energy Agency, IA, Wikipedia, Oklahoma, State Oil Facts and North, North Six Standard, A Story of Oil in Pennsylvania, Air Liquid Gas Encyclopedia, Natural Gas from the Valley to Burnout Table. Okay. Please do not hesitate. Send me your feedback, comments to gather everyone achieve more. Thank you very much for your patience. Thank you very much and stay safe and blessed.